All right, in this example, what I'm gonna use, again, the 25 mils of water, again, pre-weighed out, pre-measured out, I should say, uh, via volume, with uh, RO water, although you could use, again, distilled water or even tap water. And this time, I'm gonna add some solution of nail hardener, okay? Nail hardener is typically acrylic acid. Sometimes it's polyacrylic acid, or it's just regularly acrylic acid. Usually, it's been dissolved in acetone or some other volatile solvent, in order for it to allow to evaporate more quickly and then therefore harden on your, on your nail that much more quickly. So I'm just gonna add some of these drops and to make it a little bit more effective, I'm just gonna add some of the solution in there. You could see how initially it pools in the water, but if I mix it up, That'll dispense, and one of the reasons why it pooled is because there were some other types of solvents in there, like the acetone, which is like a ketone. Uh, it has the ketone functional groups, one of the more simplest of the ketone varieties. But here you can see how the acrylic acid was able to mix in with the water. Uh, maybe it didn't do so again perfectly, but that's also because, again, of those non-aqueous solvents that have been used. So they could, it could be a, a bit of alcohol, it could be a bit of acetone, could be other things too. There's, there's all different types of, of solvents. But what you have here is you have the mixture of this. Now, you'll start to see, if you can look, some of the deposition of the acrylic acid actually on the plastic. And that will be the material that doesn't or isn't able to stay in solution. But you can see that the acrylic acid is not forming clumps, those are just the bubbles here, but they are remaining in solution. And so this is a very clear example that both acrylic acid and water, again, have, being both polar and having hydrogen bonding capabilities, are able to mix together. Although, again, in the presence of the, of the non-aqueous solvents, that can lead to some deposition on the sides of the container, and it could lead to some bubbling as well.